setting goals the right way. Congratulate yourself because you now know what you really want, which puts you in an elite group, which represents only 1% to 3% of the population. You should feel really excited now because you finally have clarity. Clarity is power, and now we are going to take this a step further by turning the things that you want into actionable goals. Just having a list of goals is not much use. Okay, it is better than not having any goals at all, but that's about it. How many times did you set yourself New Year's resolutions and failed by the third day in January? It's okay, because the vast majority of people do this. The main reason is that people say things like, I will lose weight next year, or I will earn more money next year. The trouble is with these statements is that they are not specific. If you lose half a pound of weight in the next 12 months, then you will have achieved your resolution. But is that what you really meant? Probably not. The other thing that is missing here is strong emotion. You have got to know why you want to achieve these things. What is your real reason for losing weight? What will you do with the extra money that you make? How will these things make you feel? So, for example, if you want to attract your ideal partner and you believe that having a slim and sexy body is the way to do this, then think about how you will feel when you attract your ideal person. How strong are these feelings? You must have a strong reason or reasons for achieving any goal. If you don't, then you are very unlikely to achieve anything. Your goals have to excite you. The level of excitement needs to be so great that you actually experience pain if you do not follow through on them. So, we're going to provide you with a method to set your goals that will make you so excited you will be bursting to get started on them. By using this technique correctly, then you will increase your confidence and self-esteem. You will feel energized every time you read and think about your goals. When you set goals using this method, it will help you to discover your strengths and weaknesses, and you can work on these to achieve what you really want. Smart, for me, goal setting. So, are you ready to write down your exciting and highly passionate goals? Good. So get out some paper and a pen so that you can get started. If you keep a journal, then record your goals in there. Don't use a computer or a mobile device to do this. There is something about using a pen and paper to record your goals that is really empowering. Once you have written your goals and you are excited about them, then you can use a computer or mobile device to copy what you have written. But the initial goal setting must take place using a pen and paper. When you are writing your goals, do not concern yourself with how you are going to achieve them. We will cover this later. Okay, so let's explain the Smart For Me goal setting method. You may have heard about setting SMART goals before. This is an excellent technique that has been around for a long time and many people recommend it. We're going to use this and add some extra elements to it to ensure that your goals set you on fire. Here's what the SMART goal setting process is all about. Specific. You must set specific goals. What exactly do you want to achieve? Don't just say that you want to lose weight or earn extra money. Be specific about how much weight you want to lose, in other words, 30 pounds, or how much money you want to make, in other words, $100,000. Measurable. It is essential that you can measure your goals so that you will know how well you are progressing. So, with a weight loss goal, you can step on the scales periodically to see how well you are doing. For earning more money, keep a record of your income every month. Attainable. This is all about totally believing that you can achieve the goal. We believe that you should go for whatever you want. But if you are in your mid-50s and a bit overweight, then being the next Olympic gold medal winner in most disciplines is not going to be attainable for you. Neither is making a million dollars over a weekend. Realistic. Is the goal you have set realistic? Do you have the resources, money, and skills to achieve it? We're not asking you to limit yourself here, but you must keep it real. You're not going to lose 30 pounds in a week, nor are you going to learn to speak another language fluently in a short period of time. Timed. There must be a deadline for each of your goals. This is pretty simple to understand. Choose a time frame to achieve your goal. Is it three months, six months, or a year? These are all short periods of time. Okay, now let's add the four component. Focus. It is essential that you set focused goals. Don't commit to too many goals. We told you in the first video that three goals are probably the most that you can achieve at the same time. If this doesn't feel right, then reduce this to two or even a single goal. Focusing on your goals is everything. Optimism. You need to write your goals in a positive way so that they are optimistic. Negativity will kill your goals faster than you can believe. Do not use terms like hope and wish when writing your goals. Make it all positive. Ready. You must be ready to start working on a goal right now. If you need to wait around for someone to assist you, then your goal is not ready. All successful people always start right away. 
They get an idea and then spring into action immediately. They will make a call or write a plan or do some research. It doesn't matter what it is, they just start. And finally, we have the me component that will add true passion to your goals. Meaningful. All of your goals need to tie in with your life's purpose. If you try to achieve a goal that doesn't gel with who you really are, then you will struggle and probably not achieve it. Don't set goals that you know will conflict with your inner values. Exciting. All goals that you set must be exciting. They must provide you with an emotional buzz to motivate you at the highest levels. So when you are writing your goals down, think about how achieving them will make you feel. Make these feelings really intense and write them down. In the next video, we will talk about how you need to create a plan for the achievement of your goals. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.